Hello friends and welcome back. Today we will examine the topic of offerings and worship. If you've ever been to more than one church, you'll notice that each church service is organized a little different, but most churches have some things in common, such as singing and praise, prayer, tithes and offerings, and preaching the Word of God. In the Old Testament, people would go to the ten temple with tangible offerings that represented different things, such as sin offerings or thank offerings. However, worship services and offerings in the 21st century look very different than they did then. Typically, there's a whole section of the service dedicated to tithes and offerings, where it gets collected on an offering plate, passed around through the pews, and then there's a prayer for its blessing and dedication. I remember, as a young child, seeing and hearing my mother setting aside the good paper bills, the ones that didn't have any wrinkles and that looked kind of new, or she would look for the shiniest coins for Sabbath offering. And intentionally, she would prepare the offerings during the week in anticipation for Sabbath. She always made sure that we each had something to give in church. Now, <laughs> times have changed though, and at least in North America, fewer and fewer people are using cash, let alone coins, for offerings. It just doesn't form part of our life like it used to. In fact, compare 21st century online giving with a plastic credit card to an Israelite bringing a goat to a temple. What a contrast! Nowadays, people don't really pull out their phones or laptops on Sabbath morning during the worship service to make that transaction in that particular moment. Online giving is great because you can do it anywhere, anytime, and any day. But it can also foster carelessness because it can become just another online transaction. So how can we still include giving tithes and offerings as a meaningful part of our worship service and not just an afterthought on my way out after the church service? Let me share with you what has worked for us as a family. We've kind of adopted a hybrid model. We usually return our tithes through online giving, but when it comes to church offerings, we use cash and we give it to one of our kids to put on the offering plate. That means that during the week, we have to prepare for it and not wait until Sabbath morning to open our wallets and discover that there's nothing there. When it comes to special projects or charities, as a family, we talk about how much do we all think we should give, or we sit down and decide with a catalog what gifts we would like to give. It becomes part of our conversation. Now, if you have any thoughts about what has worked for you and your family regarding giving during worship service, please leave your comment in the section below. That's our nugget for today. Thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow.